We're here for the premiere of 19 Willock Place, a feature horror film, also with the number one soundtrack by Zoe called Town. We're going to capture all the red carpet action and speak with the man himself, so let's go and see how this film is going to turn out. So we're with the man of the hour. If you could just introduce yourself to everyone. Hi, I'm Justice John. I'm the writer and director of 19 Willock Place. So can you tell us about the inspiration behind this, this whole film? It's Scottish, it's African, it's a horror film, it's self-funded, it's a massive project. So can you just tell us about the whole, what was your inspiration behind it? Well, the idea was to make a movie with, uh, with uh, the help of funding. But then when the funding didn't come, I said that you pack your bag and go home. Or you can inspire yourself to come up with a new idea that would require less expenses and stuff like that because making movies is really expensive. Even the zero budget, you still spend money because that's why it's called zero budget. The actors are willing to come in and make this happen. I got to give a big thanks to the actors, my casting director. They're the main reason, my main colleague, Etienne Kubavo, we all, Nikki Kunda, the names are so much, you know what I'm saying? It's heavy. So um, they all motivated the concept of the film, and especially Etienne, you know, when I write this script, I like to get his feedback and see what he's saying about it. So when he read the script, he was excited, and we pushed into it. But then that was the other script, because the money went up. So, um, <laughs> so basically, we just, I thought to myself over and over, then finally came to me did my research, how do you shoot the film with zero budget and make it look good. And uh, it was a lot of research, windows after windows, just <laughs> pinning them down, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. But you managed to pull it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so well done, and we're actually at the premiere of the film of this the evening. Film, yeah. What is your hopes for this? Where are you hoping to take it to? Um, obviously, we're here in, in Glasgow, in Scotland, but, you know, for a feature film and number one, title track as well with Zoe. Um, can you tell us about that too? Well, uh, well Zoe has made <laughs> a track record. It, it took this movie to another level because uh, when she came to the studio, the day we were, uh, she was coming in for an Infinite Time Music Award uh, meeting. And then she just vibed out with the parents and immediately they started vibing, you know, I kind of snapped to her voice and I was like, yo, Etienne, I don't know what meeting you got going on with this girl, but right now I got to work with her. <laughs> so from there, the idea just started kicking in. Zoe went away, came out, and damn, I was shocked. There was not much needed to be changed. She wrote it to perfection. And um, that's it. Like, and now it's number one. <laughs> happening. Like, I woke up one morning, it's number one, and I was like, wow, okay, where are we going? Where we going? It's exciting. It's exciting. Um, in terms of making movie, I'd like to make a movie that goes across just between two countries, so that it's an international project, rather than just sanctioning it based in Scotland. I can expand it and create and make the idea bigger, and always keeping it in the budget. You know what I'm saying? So as long as you got your friends, people who are willing to throw. 100 pounds into it, <laughs> they're going to make it work. Yeah, because you can make a movie. I hope people can get inspired from tonight's event and understand that if you put more effort and courage into it, you're going to pull off a film. Yeah. And that's a fact. And we're here now at the premiere. Congratulations. And may many great things come from this. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Take my advice. When the dead steer, don't steer back. Finish what you started! Ah!